From the T.J. Watson Research Center in Yorktown Heights, New York, this is Jeopardy! The IBM Challenge. And now... These Jeopardy! champions are so smart, people say their brains are like computers. This new IBM computer is so smart, they say its brain is almost human. At Jeopardy! we say, let the games begin. Be there as IBM's revolutionary new Watson computer meets Jeopardy's two greatest champions in the Jeopardy! IBM Challenge starting February 14th. In 2000, he became a five-time champion and went on to win three of Jeopardy's most prestigious tournaments, earning a record $3.2 million. Ladies and gentlemen, Brad Rutter. And now our next player. In 2004, his record-breaking 74-game win streak... Ken. Who is Aristophanes? Ken. What's the Trojan horse? Ken. Who is Jean Lafitte? Ken. What's the dodo? Ken. What is Stella? Set a standard for excellence that may never be equal. Ladies and gentlemen, Ken Jennings. And now, the newcomer. Developed and programmed especially for this moment, making its first appearance on our national television program. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Watson. <laughs> Just as I expected, that was a very warm reception, and I'm sure Watson would have appreciated the applause except for one thing. Watson can neither hear nor see. It will be receiving all of its information electronically. And as a matter of fact, what you're looking at right now is not the real Watson. This is an avatar. This is a representation of Watson. Watson, of course, is a sophisticated computer system, too big and too heavy to fit behind that lectern on our stage. But it is close by. It's right next door. And a little while ago, I paid it a visit. The very first thing you will notice as I come into Watson space is noise. There is a lot of noise. A little bit comes from Watson himself, but most of the noise comes from two very large refrigerator units that help to keep Watson cool. Now, as you can see, Watson has been set up in two units. Each half contains five separate racks. Each of these racks contains 10 IBM Power 750 servers. Now, when you link all of these servers together, as they have done for Watson, you create a deep analytic system that is the equivalent of 2,800 powerful computers tied together in a super high-speed network. It has a memory capacity of over 15 trillion bytes. Let's play Jeopardy. Here we go. Our first round of play contains these categories. Literary character APB, all points bulletin. Beatles people, Olympic oddities, name the decade, final frontiers, and alternate meanings. A little while ago, we had a drawing to determine which player would select first. Brad, you won that. So if you're ready, make your first choice. Let's take alternate meanings for 200, Alex. Four-letter word for a vantage point or a belief. Brad. What is a view? Yes. Uh, alternate meanings, 400. Four-letter word for the iron fitting on the hoof of a horse or a card dealing box in a casino. Watson. What is shoe? You are right. You get to pick. Literary character, APB, for 800. Answer, the Daily Double. <laughs> So if you say McCain ran for office and some runner ran a race, you can try to represent to the machine that there are two meanings for the word run. And so you're associating words with other words, and then you can associate those with other words. Now we're trying to get a lot smarter about how we use the different evidence. We're using smarter techniques in terms of looking at what have we seen before? And we've seen other things in this category that help us understand what to do with this question. Uh, Olympic oddities for a thousand. It was the anatomical oddity of U.S. gymnast George Iser who won a gold medal on the parallel bars in 1904. Ken. What is, he only had one hand. No, 
Watson? What is leg? No. Brad? Let's go to name the decade for a thousand. The first modern crossword puzzle is published and Oreo cookies are introduced. Ken? What are the 20s? No. Watson? What is 1920s? No, Ken said that. Brad? What are the 19-teens? Yes, the 1910s. Correct. Final for right, and one last clue on the board. Let's take a look. Wanted for general evilness, last seen at the Tower of Baradur. It's a giant eye, folks, kind of hard to miss. Watson? What is Sauron? Sauron is right, and that puts you into a tie for the lead with Brad.